Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Unity of Command 2, Blitzkrieg, the first and newest DLC pack out for Unity of Command 2 that allows you to play through the early war scenarios uh, as the Germans in a German campaign that's 25 scenarios long, 13 historical scenarios, 12 alternate history scenarios, uh, and it lets you play through the invasions of Poland, of France, the Low Countries, Norway, and potentially the invasion of England. This is episode number, I guess, Great Britain, sorry. Um, this is episode number seven of our series looking at this new DLC pack, which only recently came out uh, of this turn-based strategy and war game. Uh, in this episode, we are invading France in the alternate history path. Uh, it's an early invasion of France. Uh, Norway was sort of ignored or at least uh, delayed. And we are attacking through the Maginot Line in the scenario as well as through Switzerland. So it's a very, very different German invasion of France. And that's where we're picking things up right now. Uh, this is the third episode in our attack. Uh, and things aren't going tremendously well. We do have a breakthrough in the north. Um, but with that being said, this is taken from a live stream. So I'm just going to, at the beginning of a live stream. So I'm just going to turn it over to my live stream myself. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. And I'll catch you guys at the end. Uh, in today's episode, we're returning to the attack in the south. So we've gone with the alternate history, which allows an early German attack on France. And we're attacking through the Maginot Line in the Saar region and even flanking through Switzerland as well. We've taken Zurich, we've taken Luzerne, uh, and we are advancing uh, in the south as well toward Bern. Uh, and then hopefully out toward Dijon and then flanking up toward Troyes, uh, Chalons, uh, and and what have you. Our breakout in the north has been a little bit more, um, I guess, what's the word, convincing. Uh, we have uh, driven to the to, close to Chalons. We have a large portion of the French force in out of supply along the Maginot Line that should help us solidify our hold on our flank, which is tying down a bunch of German infantry formations. Uh, we are also flanking a huge portion of French troops near Strasbourg. These guys have been out of supply for three days or three turns. And so we've started mopping those units up with frontal attacks against them uh, because they're basically in serious trouble supply situation-wise. Um, we've already run the attack in the north uh, for this part, uh, this turn, if you will, but we haven't really done much in the south yet. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and reinforce this depot here uh, to strengthen its hold. We've got two depots or trucks in reserve. Uh, and then I'm also going to go ahead and launch an attack against these troops who are sitting on a rail line that will help supply our troops west toward Bern. So we're going to go ahead and launch an attack there. Uh, we breached the fortification, damaged it substantially. Um, but that's kind of annoying. I think we'll do a faint or a suppression here. Uh, let's bring this guy up. Ooh, this will this will get a one to one. Cornered and breached. Overrun. Nice. Okay, so we successfully overran those guys. Can we repair this bridge now? We have to move a unit into that hex. All right, can we repair this bridge now? Good. Okay, we'll repair that rail bridge. That will then, that should get these guys back into supply who have been out of supply for a couple of turns now. Uh, meanwhile, I am also going to move, well, I can't move my headquarters unit now that I just did that. But, um, yeah. All right, let's pull these troops back, and then we'll move this cavalry forward here. These guys are cut off. But we should be able to expand our breach here now that we've uh, that we've destroyed this unit here, and we should have uh, supplies moving forward on this rail line um, shortly. Although no, we'd actually where do we have to we have to we have to take Basil to get the supplies on the rail line. Nonetheless, these guys will be in supply, but um, not a great situation there. Okay, so that's the attack in the south. Uh, meanwhile, in the north, these guys will start perhaps even disappearing, These this huge pocket of troops. Um, I'm going to also try and drive up toward this enemy depot over here uh, and see if I can knock out this level 3 supply dump. Are these guys going to be in supply tomorrow? 
No. All right. Well, let's put a depot there. So now these guys will be back in supply as well. And we'll probably pull the depot out of Sarbrooken. Well, not yet. The The troops on the, the Strasbourg front still need it. Hey, coffee filter. How you doing there? All right. Any chance we could drive them back? Nope. We need to take Nancy as well so we can get this rail line under supply, but that's going to take a little bit more time. So I think that's going to about do it for this turn. We'll see if this mechanized formation may get counterattacked by these two units and may get destroyed, but we'll see. We'll work through this turn and uh, see what happens here. I've already used most of my uh, conference cards in this particular battle. This has been a bloody one and a difficult one, um, so we'll see. Oh, they got overrun. Great. That armored unit in the south there got destroyed and overrun. They destroyed that bridge to the east of Nancy. They didn't, they're not moving their depot here? Okay, no, I thought that, they didn't move it? Maybe they couldn't? But that's a level three supply depot. They're just gonna let me take. Well, shit. Meanwhile, you can see some of these frontline units here vanished this turn because they're out of supply. My own units also are dealing with... All right, we'll attack here. Overrun on the flank of... Uh... All right, destroy that guy. Fort is in ruins. We get an overrun. Attack here. These guys also, by the way, the attacking enemy units that are completely out of supply is a relatively risk-free way of gaining a ton of experience for some of these units. So I really hope that these are like carryover units. Because you can see that unit just became elite. Basically just attacking, you know, enemy scrubs that are completely out of supply. Alright, we'll attack there. because we are getting some suppression of our units, but we're really basically not taking casualties with these guys. All right, what's the supply situation here? So these guys should be recovered and back into supply, most of these units anyway. I think we'll assault across the river here. Breach and drive these guys back. Strasbourg is almost ours. It doesn't even have to be taken till turn 10 for a major victory there. Okay. Also, taking this depot will probably knock the rest of these surrounded troops out of supply. Okay. Okay, huge numbers of uh, enemy prisoners being taken. There are still some enemy units here that are in good order. Meanwhile, similar situation with these troops on the Maginot line. I'm going to attack some of these guys to um, get our flank a little bit better secured.
Nice. Level up veteran. supply. Fudge! Cornered and breached. Thank you very much for the follow, Wildemar. I'm back! Makes sense. You're bringing the ice cream? All right. I'm good with ice cream. All right, so these guys might die next turn due to lack of supply. These guys are all gonna be out of supply for two turns. Let's do a set piece here. We'll get a breach, get rid of their fortifications. We'll attack with our infantry here. Nice, get the overrun with our armor. Press on, my lads, press on. All right, these guys are completely surrounded over here now, but it's going to take some time for their supply situation to get weaker. I'm going to pull the armor back this way, though, just to be safe. Okay. They're pocketed near Stralsburg. All right, let's do this. Let's flatten these troops in the woods here that are to our front. One KIA, one KIA, one SUP. I guess I'll use all my air on this one unit. Oh, and that didn't even do anything on that next attack. Okay. All right, we'll move our armor over here. Take that depot from the enemy. Cornered and breached. All right, I need more. Pull these guys back to guard the railway. These guys need to be gone so I can free up some extra infantry. Force these guys? Yes. All right, we'll make them a strong unit again. Make those tanks great again. Sorry. Politics. Well, all right. Um, I think if I move these guys here, I'll cut a line to these troops in front of Nancy. All right, so we also need to do some bridge repairs, I think. Maybe not. All right, we'll leave them at Sauerbrücken for now with that headquarters unit. Panzerkleist. No bridges needing to be repaired up north. I guess the bridges that just need to be fixed are in the south. Fix that bridge. the hell out of those guys. Didn't do anything. Great. Right, we'll move
move this armor up here to help against uh, the drive on Baron. Oof, that was a rough, rough battle there by those troops. They're back in supply, though. Zero to two on these cutoff troopers. Corner breached, Fortin Bru Bruins, overrun breached. Good, good, good. All right. Do we need to pull some of this supply back? No, that'll cut those guys off. What about these, these troops? Cut this supply back? Yeah, that won't make a difference, so we'll save one truck there. Okay. I think that's going to be it for this turn. We're on to turn number seven. Baron should be able to... We should be able to take Baron with the troops in the south. My concern is more whether we can get in the next seven turns to Dijon... Things should open up, like we should get into the plains here in the north, but there's just so many enemy units. I'm hoping that this pocket that we're destroying near Strasbourg will, will greatly weaken the enemy, but we'll see. Some of these guys are going to be out of supply tomorrow, but anyway, moving forward to turn number eight. This is a tricky battle. It's not, it's definitely not easy. Oh no, they broke out of the Strasbourg pocket. And they just wiped out one of my infantry units on the flank there. What are they doing? They're now they're trying to advance in Strasbourg? Cut my own supplies? One thing is the AI always seems to be a little bit too aggressive. <laughs> Sometimes like to the point of stupidity. It's like, we're out of supply, charge! Rather than, you know, maybe we should break out. Just an idea. All right, we just had one of our units killed. All right. All right, we took Strasbourg and we took it before the objective time. In the interest of trying to push on a little bit more aggressively, I am probably attacking in scenarios where I otherwise wouldn't. Are these, what are these guys? These are so, they seem so good. The French cavalry. This entire front. All right, so the Strasbourg troops, okay, they have supply. So those guys should be back in supply now? Yes, they are. Go to five, overrun. Go to two, overrun.
Keep on pressing on. Keep on, keep on, keep on pressing on. All right, we need to bomb these guys. Gotta get these guys off our flank. Wiped him out, got the overrun. Okay. Them being on this rail line here is the issue, isn't it? So Nancy, meh, it's going to be close on whether it'll be out of supply next turn. Okay. All right, so we're on the doorstep of Scholl's. Straussburg is ours, so we've got four more objectives to take in the next six days. Meanwhile, in the south, we need to expand the the front near Bern, so we'll use our armor against these troops here. We get an O to five and an overrun. An O to five. That's not really a thing, is it? All right. Um, let's bombard these guys. That'll do nothing, apparently. What if we hit them with air? There we go. Still doesn't really seem to make a difference, but we suppressed them a little bit. What's the supply situation down here? All right, so they're in supply. Expand the front a little bit. Turning some of our boys loose. Alright. Do I still need these two depots back here? So I can pull one of them back and then I'll put a new one further forward, I guess. Really? I can't do that? That was the most inefficient <laughs> use of my supply trucks ever. Guys, forward here. There's no reason I have that depot there anymore. The Freiburg depot has been consolidated. Alright, the Strasbourg troops should have supply tomorrow, almost all of them anyway. Uh, we'll see what happens here as we move forward to turn number nine.
they're gonna kill that unit. Great. There's so much cavalry. Did they have this many cavalry units? Uh, they're reinforcing troops in front of Chalons. Not what we need. Over here, hit this infantry on the flank. Nice. Advance here, hit these guys. Your sacrifice will be remembered <laughs> to that division I just sent. In a really illogical way. Okay, mechanized force. Get the overrun, nice. Wonder if Reams is empty. All right, let's finish these guys off. Get that experience. advance along the railway here. Haspen17, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. We didn't cut Nancy off from supplies with that? Oh, we will with that. I think. Mechanized troops to attack there. We'll take some casualties. That's okay. It'll free up space for the rear, those units in the rear to move back. Go ahead and hit these guys with some air. Didn't do anything, but whatever. them. This should all open up the supply lines back this way, and it does. Alright, so I'll supply this guy with a truck. We'll drop a depot here. These guys back one, so they're back within supply. Move to the front, boys. Breakthrough in the center should let us push on Troyes and maybe Dijon, although that'll be tricky. We do need to clear this, this railway here. 
Also, Army Group H probably should repair this bridge. That'll make sure we keep the we keep the railways supplied here. Once we take, we do have to take Nancy. We don't really have a choice. Um, I'm not attacking Shalons this turn. We'll attack that next. What about in the south? Do we want to bomb stuff down here? How are they not breaking through? I need to clear that rail line. Up to Basel. All right, everybody, I'm going to wrap this episode up here and we'll finish the battle up in the next one. You can see that we're running into some bottlenecks and some key strategic areas, but we also have a breakthrough in the center. We have about four turn, four or five turns left, so there is still some time. Uh, but whether I'll have the logistical wherewithal to push forward to our final objectives remains to be seen. This is fundamentally a game about logistics and sort of the challenge of setting up your supply network and maintaining an offensive. Uh, and so I think this, this is a perfect example in the scenario of where this game does that well. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up in our next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your thoughts down below. And until next time, I'm out.